Hi everyone, it's Gail with Traders Help Desk and Fulcum Traders and I've received a lot of requests about the cumulative delta videos whether they have been updated and if they are still available. They are still available and no, the videos have not been updated. They have not been updated because number one, Chris is an excellent teacher but also because this is a trading style it is a charting type that you use to read price and supply and demand and price is price supply and demand you read it through the cumulative delta chart there is no new techniques for that okay um, and I'm going to very quickly show you and Chris goes in much more detail than what I'm going to go in this video but I want to show you what I'm talking about. Each one of these moves that you see right here on the Dow Jones is a momentum move. And the cumulative delta told you early that those moves were coming in. You can see I don't have any other indicators on my chart, okay? But what I want to point out, and this was on Friday, August the 26th, you can see that down here um, in the window and also as I move this line it's telling you it's the 26th and you can see you've made a low here and then you come back and make a new low here now what happens with the cumulative Delta from this low to this low here you can see that it is actually making lower lows. That's pretty much what it should do. But now what happens is it goes into this small little congestion zone. Look at the cumulative delta, okay? As it's going through there, you're making new lows on the cumulative delta. In other words, traders or sellers tried to come in here. They tried to make a new low. In fact, they put more effort into making a low here than they put in making this low, okay? That's when you knew or would anticipate this next up move to come in. It does come in. You're making higher highs in price as well as the delta. Goes back to try to test it over there. It was not enough buyers and then it goes down again during this small little phase here you can see that buyers came in strong here they were not able to take out this high down it goes now they make a low here then they make a new low here what happens on the delta well when they made this new low there was no sellers do y'all see that buyers were coming in on that low okay that is what's telling us more likely than not the market is going to go up off of that not come down again it does go up it retraces here okay fine we're making we're making new lows in the Delta. We're making new lows in price. Everything's good. What happens here? You're making higher lows over in price, but the Delta is making new lows. In other words, you have the same scenario that you had back here. In other words, Sellers were really trying to take this market down. They put more effort in making a new low here is what they did here. You can see that on the delta. This going down, it's getting stronger to the downside. What was the result? The result was they could not make a new low. That tells you you're going to get this up move and of course it does come in and that goes from 18484 up to 18554 
once they make this high, you can see in the delta, it's kind of churning. It's not making new highs, it's not making new lows. But that's what's significant is that over in price, you're making lower highs. And yet the delta, they're trying their best to take out this high, okay? They're unable to. In other words, even though buyers are trying to come in, they are giving it their all. They can't make a new high. What happens? Price goes down. And you can see that as I scroll forward, you can see that in fact price does go down. Okay, this is significant because they're turning. In other words, they took their orders from being long and reversed them to being short. So here you've made a high, here you've made a lower high, and look at the delta. You made a higher high. That's hidden divergence. Down she comes, okay? This doesn't change. Um, five years from now, you're still going to be reading cumulative delta the same way. The only change is that now you have multi-charts offering the cumulative delta charting type. And that was something that we did request from multi-charts. They were very, very good at working with us on developing this as a charting style. So we were able to get the cumulative delta into multi-charts. So it's not only in Investor RT, but it's also in multi-charts for everybody to use. And this is a charting method. What does that mean? That means it's no indicator involved, okay? You go File, New, Chart, Window. And I'm using TradeStation to feed the data. Uh, IQ Feed is actually the best. Um, and I'm going to format the dial. Under the settings, I'm going to choose Cumulative Delta. You can do it on a tick. You can do it on a minute chart. It's just whatever you want to do it on, okay? And then you can select as trade versus bid, which is the top window here. And then um, you can do this as a Western style, but you can also do it as a candlestick. So if I go to candlestick and do, if I go to style and select candlestick, then it plots it as a candlestick. Now remember, these are limit orders, um, market orders, I'm sorry. If I insert a new instrument, this time I'm still going to select the Dow. This time I'm going to select uptick versus down tick. I'm going to put it on a candlestick, click OK. Now you can see on top I have market orders. On the bottom I have limit orders and I can size the window you know I can make them bigger so that I can actually see what's going on so if you have any questions I'm always available to answer your questions but again there's not a reason to do a new video when this is a chart reading methodology and it, it just hasn't changed we still read the charts the same